What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action. Excuse me, I just wiping my face, had a beautiful sandwich, sporting on the top of the map in the red color playing as Set, his name is Chemo. He's bonded today in the blue color playing as Zeus, his name is Matrius. The map is Frozen Wastes and I believe this was a part of a show match hosted by Punkstar. Five, five, five. If you guys want to get involved in some of the other age mythology happenings, I do recommend uh, heading over to Twitch every now and again and checking out what's going on. We got uh, a couple of people hosting some very, very cool stuff around the the place. So Punkstar definitely someone to keep an eye out for. Keen Flame is back hosting some tournaments. AOL Iron Maidens around doing all of those good things. A bunch of other tournaments from Meta Plays coming up, which are going to be really, really exciting to watch and be a part of. So definitely consider uh checking out all those things if you want to see some more age mythology anyways we're going to be watching this game and see how it all goes we've got chemo playing as set on uh the map frozen waste going for a very very i would say suboptimal build order but that's just me but we'll see what's going to happen here i'm very precious about set okay i feel like i should be and i feel like i'm just one day we're going to watch i want to watch one of these good players one of these players who was like a million times better than me doing things that i do just because i i don't understand why it doesn't happen because what's going to happen here is chemo has actually gone eight villagers on food here he's going to jump over here onto gold send everyone onto gold and then he's going to have to build his temple up with all of his villages in order to get a um a four minute advance time which is going to be ha has to be what he wants to go for considering his grabbing all of this food as fast as he possibly can now we are seeing the uh the priest over here has managed to find a polar bear the scout for matrius not searching around here not trying to find that priest not trying to bolt that priest which is normally what happens here so he's getting away with a getting away with it just a little bit right now as the polar bear is going to be scouting around trying to grab all of the uh all the herdables on the outsides of the map so to skatoska boss going to be doing the same thing relics on the map we do have the scales of katoplapas here negative uh, 20 percent myth unit crush vulnerability there uh, as well as the Toothed Arrows, which is an extra 5% pierce damage for your archers. Very good relics there on this map. You can see that gold is starting to come in. Lots of villages on the gold mine now for Chemo. And he's almost 100% going to be going for this town center. It's an absolute beauty of a town center here. Uh, with a gold mine over here, town center, and the, and the granary going down already to jump onto that. You can see his food is coming quite fast up to that uh, That. 400 mark still no temple up still no monument but we'll see that one coming down fairly soon i'm sure as the temple is now coming up for matrius standard builds here or standard advanced times for a zeus player on a map like frozen waste he's going to be a 430s against set so matrius is going to be doing something roughly like that he might decide to get out an early jason here as you can see he's moving over onto these uh onto these goats and this does indicate to me that Matrius is going to be going for a far second town center because him doing this just says he wants to make sure he advances correctly at the right time and also gets the villages over onto the wood line without losing too much. But what he probably could have done is move the goat onto the granary, had less walking time, moved over onto the wood. Little little picky things there. We do see the temple coming up. That was with all the villages. And we see Kima going up through Ptah. Very, very uh, late behind on a zero monument build like uh, Kimo went for here. Now... I just let you know on this sort of a map here with that many caribou, the, the the best build you can do with zero monuments is going to be a four minute and two, well, not the best build. You can do a four minute 34 second, but you cannot get a town center there. The best build to get a far second town center is the four minute and two second build. And you do that by going two villages on food, two villages on gold, and then the rest go on to food to advance. Very, very simple, very, very easy. Get the town center up at four minutes and two seconds and, and live the dream there as the uh, Katoska boss searching around. And did we actually see that that priest was did, did end up getting bolted? I think it did as the uh, the Jason here moving across the map. Going to be looking to slap Chemo's villages back to the place they came. And we'll see how that's all going to go. Plenty of villages are here though. So, I mean, if the, the Jason wants to come in and cause some problems, he's going to find himself having a difficult time here as the priest. Sorry, the pharaoh does pull back. The villagers getting pulled off here. Uh, Kimo is still waiting for a little bit of resources here. He might be going for a fast heroic here. And honestly, lots of food in the bank. We are seeing those uh, 
Those animals of set getting one bang there by Mattress. A really, really good trade there for Mattress to take those out. That's a lot of food, potential food that Kimo can be eating in this uh, in this classical age. As we see, the town center is indeed deciding to go up on this position. He's going to get access to these walrus. This is going to be very, very tense right here. We saw Hermes coming through here as now Mattress is moving forward. He wants to grab this town center for those walrus there as well. So both players with town centers right next to each other is going to be incredible. Incredibly tense here as the Pharaoh are going to move forward, try and empower this one up. No villager kind of harassment attempt here from Matrius. We don't see the Odysseus out for some reason. I'm not sure why that was delayed so much here from Matrius's uh, point of view as the settlement does end up coming up here. For Chemo is going to have access to this walrus, this walrus, be able to pull this one into the town center, eat those very, very nicely. But the big question is going to be, after this town center is up, what is Kimo going to go for here? Because I've been toying around with the idea here that Set kind of needs to classical fight behind these fast two town center builds against Greek. But on this sort of a map, maybe it's a little bit different because those side builds, they aren't as strong as on like Alfheimer, I think. And we are actually seeing that barracks coming up here for Kimo. So I'm excited to see how that's going to work out here against what uh, Matrius is going to be doing. And also what sort of... Uh, answer Matrius is going to go for against the uh, against the barracks here, against the classical fight of Chemo. As he pushes forward, the villagers retreating back. We see the Jason coming in, going to be able to take down that Wadget very, very fast here. As the uh, as the Wadget getting taken down very quickly. Nice play there from Matrius. As that does get taken out, the Pharaoh moving forward. We see the unit's going to be pulling back here. There's the archery range coming down for, for Matrius. Archery range here first. Let's see if Matrius actually scouted this. It looks like Matrius hasn't scouted the barracks, and yet he is going archery range first here in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very surprising to see that, but maybe he's kind of expecting kind of a little bit of metagaming. He hasn't seen the barracks. Kimo could be going for a faster heroic here, but he's getting his pickaxe out. He's getting his technologies going. He's, still, he's getting his monument up. He's throwing his armory down. I don't see any spearmen coming out of this, so this could just be a complete fake where it comes down to it, but he did hide it kind of at the back of his town center as now Matrius moves in. Matrius... What? Did he steal the goats? He must have stolen the goats. Because now we've got 19 goats in the base of Chemo here. It's a really big, big, uh, big movement there from Matrius. It makes you wonder... If there's, if there's a world where, if you can prevent this town center from going up as the set player, steal your opponent's goats, you could arguably go for a really, really hard classical fight here, if it's at all possible to make that work. As we're now starting to see the Jason and the Odysseus coming in here, we see the uh, the centaur retreating back, but that's such a big, big advantage there for Chemo moving forward to steal all those goats. There's still two remaining in Mattress's base. Mattress has got the berries over here. He's finishing up on the walrus. Got two more walrus, but after that, it's all gone. It's kind of lights out for for Mattress moving forward as Chemo's deciding, yep, time for a, another town center here. Do we see a second monument coming up anywhere for uh, for Chemo? Looks like the answer is no. He's just going to stay one monument here. Gets this town center. He's got all the goat in the world. Going to move those goat over here. He's going to have himself husbandry shortly, I'm sure, as he's going to be able to eat those goats very, very fast here. I uh, still haven't seen him grabbing it, so maybe just forgetting about that one ever so slightly as the village is jumping onto the wood line over here. It's still no husbandry, so he must have just have forgotten about it at this point as we do see the Toxodes coming in. And here is why the Toxodes are coming in, ladies and gentlemen. It's so that he can hit this walrus and get a little bit of damage done. But now Kimo's just going to be able to grab the, the polar bear under this position here. He's going to see some slingers getting produced. No real problems here for Kimo as he's going to be getting his self-husbandry at this point. As Matrius moves along here, Military Academy is up, starting to go for a bit of a 1-1-1 one, one, one build here from, from Matrius. Double Military Academy, though, so he's going to get a lot more hoplites, potentially be able to push in and take this town center down. It's going to be his big aim, but he's got no restoration here at this point as the, uh, as the barracks does get taken out. As... Uh, <clears throat> Barracks goes down. Village is moving over here to grab the barracks over here. More slingers coming out on this location here. Kimo getting himself hand axe and a back barracks now. Those slingers are going to be really good against the uh, against the Toxodes, but I don't know if going mass slinger here is actually going to be 
quite so viable, but we'll see how it's all going to go as this barracks is going to pop back up. Mattress might be able to push in, take this down. We do see him splitting his hop lights to the back of his base, going to be preventing this barracks from going up yet again as Kimo is getting closer and closer, getting to that heroic age and giving himself a little bit of respite with a ancestors forcing a ceasefire or something like that. But then again, if the set player doesn't win in this matchup, the set player oftentimes loses. So we'll see if that's going to be the case here. Well, I mean, when I say doesn't win, but it doesn't mean like outright get an advantage before the late game. Uh, Zeus tends to be able to win with Hephaestus here. So we'll see how things are going to go as the uh, the mercenary popping out here of that town center to help out. The slinger is going to be able to take down those those Toxodes really, really fast. But this is a big, big attack here from Mattress. Not only that, the uh, town center is actually targeting down that Odysseus there. As Nephthys is coming in, it looks like the town center is going to be getting finished off. Beautiful play here from Mattress. He's going to have a really, really strong foothold in this game now. 61 villages to 53 villages, though. Mattress might be thinking to grab this town center for himself, but he does kind of need to move away from Hoplites moving forward. Otherwise, there's just going to be mass chariots coming for him. As Kimo has got a lot of villagers on wood right now, pulling back onto this town center. Nephthys 75% of the way forward here. The question is, does Matrius have enough to push in and get some more damage done while Kimo has got all these resources in the bank? Uh, Kimo's probably going to drop a, a, a Migdal Stronghold on this location here to make it very, very tough to push in. But we are going to be seeing Matrius swinging around the side, going to be trying to attack this large gold mine immediately here. As Kimo is grouping his villagers up, Migdol Stronghold going up on the front of the town center. As the army swinging around the bottom, we see Shadoof coming through as well for Kimo to see what he can do right now. As the villagers getting taken down, nice play here, giving Mattress a little bit uh, less of a village deficit, even though he is Greek, so his villagers are a little bit stronger than the uh, than the Egyptian villagers. As he pushes in and gets a little bit of damage done, pulls back. Migdol Stronghold is up now, though. So we'll see, will Kimo be able to hold here or not against a really big push from Mattress? Mattress wants to force a Ancestors at this point, but with the Town Center shooting, the Migdol shooting, Mattress is smart, smartly going to be uh, retreating back here. Nice play from uh, from Matrius, not overcommitting, but he does want to sit on this location. He will be getting greeted with a lot of these Chariot Archers. Six second train time on those Chariot Archers. Because you're set, you get that reduction in train time there of, what is it? Uh, I can 20% reduction there, which is quite a lot. As the Matrius units swing around to the top of the map here, going to be looking to take down this location over here. We do see the Slingers here, uh, unfortunately targeting the wrong thing down as the villagers ret retreat back. And that gold mine is getting pressured. We do see the, the classic Zeus staple or Greek staple of chucking military buildings down onto unoccupied gold mines here. It's super important as Chemo clicks up to the Mythic Age here through Horus incredibly fast here. <coughs> Off of three town centers. He did lose one, but he's built three town centers. going to be hitting that Mythic Age around about 13 minutes into the game as we see a, another town center coming up for Mattress. We'll see if this is going to work out for... Uh, for Kimo or not, as, I mean, Bolt was used on that Priest earlier, so the Avenger is going to be really, really helpful here. His Matrius is doing some good damage on the back here. Slinger getting taken down over here. As the Chariot Archers doing their best to hang on over there as the, uh, the Matrius units retreat back. Just hanging on ever so slightly as now the villagers pushing forward for Kimo. He's getting very, very frisky here, wanting his town center back. He says, this is this is my land. I will have my land. His chariot archers are out here. This is a very bold play. Going to be utilizing the ancestors here to hold on to this one as the Hippocon going to attempt to come through here. The Hoplites jumping straight onto those chariot archers. Going to do as much damage as he possibly can before casting Ceasefire. I'm sure here, as there's the ceasefire, the damage is done. Kimo's going to get his town center back. But there's going to be a tornado coming here. Kimo is going to go full population, 145 or 145. Tornado onto this location is going to be really, really deadly here. As Matrius may be wanting to get himself uh, masons here. I think that these farms on this town center are actually a big mistake against, um, against Egyptian. You should be throwing your military buildings around this town center, one on each side here, getting masons when you think that Horus is on the way. And then the uh, tornado does much, much less damage. But here, it looks like if Kimo hits this timing well, he's going to have a, uh, a nice opportunity to win the game here. 
uh, as Mattress now swinging over here, going to be checking out that gold line as the villagers all feeling very calm uh, and collected, grabbing that one. Got 15 seconds left of ceasefire here as more units going to be coming through. We've got the hippos of set, we've got the rhinoceros of set. We do not have that technology feral coming through for. Uh, chemo just yet, but it's a really, really big technology. Super important to grab that one when you go into the Mythic Age because it allows those animals to be so strong as the village is coming over onto this location. That's going to be effectively uh, Mattress will just start training Hippocon out of that stable that are harass over there as the Toxodi is trying to attack this location. Mattress in several different locations at this point in time here. Uh, do we see that Mason's coming through from Mattress? No Mason's just yet it would seem as he just has to accept that a tornado is going to take out his town center moving forward here as we do see the tornado coming down onto this town center village is getting taken out the town center oh, tornado sometimes moves away from the town center you definitely want to make sure you're clicking it around about here on this corner or even over on this side because normally it's up and to the left the tornado does move but looks like the town center will end up going down the village is retreating back and now chemo is going to move forward aggressively most likely and drop a migdol onto this location mattress is not out of the game just yet even if chemo can get access to this town center uh if he doesn't get it up mattress will be able to hold this somehow uh some, some way with hephaestus coming through very shortly i'm sure but a little bit low on the gold at this point we are seeing the sipicon coming out of this uh stable over here getting a little bit of harass onto that location there as the villagers trying to get this town center up as best as they can we do see the manticore coming in onto this location here with the villagers helping out but the champion sorry heavy chariots coming in here we do see the uh the odysseus getting some big damage done as matria sitting very, very behind now on the population for whichever reason. He's not able to get it up. And this means that Chemo is actually going to be able to get this town center up and have a successful time being four town centers to two town centers against Mattress. Mattress does still have himself underworld. So he can catch Chemo out of position and get a really big attack happening as uh, we did see Mattress attempting to take down the Pharaoh over here. But the, the town center will get up here. Now, what's really big for Chemo now, he has that location, is he needs to get himself up those those uh, Spearman upgrades and start thinking about getting those Horus Spearman or even Horus Axemen out here and giving himself a really, really big advantage moving forward. As we see the Avenger coming in onto this position to kind of defend ever so slightly against that one medium Hippocon who's getting a lot of villager kills. Him is at 79. Ooh, Hera coming through for Mattress. This is not something that I often encounter. It is definitely going to be a big uh, a big swing, though. The question is going to be, will Mattress have out a fortress in order to take this down? He's going to need siege weapons or heavy myth units from Zeus to take that position out. Uh, if you know what I did there, you are a true Age Mythology fan. If not, then... Uh, that's 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 just uh that's just how it is anyways we'll see if uh if mattress is going to be able to make this work because he doesn't have access to hydra he doesn't have access to minotaur he doesn't have access to colossus now he will have access to heliopoli or a petropolis but he needs to throw that down uh very very soon and start getting those out as we do see the little raid there taking out the pharaoh nice play champion chariots is now in for chemo as he is continuing to be strong in this game we don't have a market set up just yet but normally if you're four town centers you just want to make sure you get all of your army out and feeling in a good position there as the spearmen running in losing their lives ever so slightly here in this position the chariot archers can't actually garrison inside of this town center so a big uh, lightning storm on this position is going to do tons of damage here moving forward and allow mattress to push forward but going for like medium hippocon here i don't know if he's going to be able to take that down we now see fortified town centers is in for chemo so it's going to be even tougher we are seeing these rhinoceros of set just doing so much damage on this position there's the heavy hippocon in we also see uh oracle as well as spirited charge in for those hippocons so they're going to be a little bit quicker but honestly spirited charge if unless you're like mass hippocon like all Hippocon is probably better to just get yourself copper weapons, copper mail, instead of the, the 25 favor for that. And we do see the Lightning Storm getting dropped down onto this position now. All those units falling. Chemo dropping down to 125 population, but so too is Mattress there. 
on that low population. Where is the Underworld coming in onto this position? We do see the Heracles coming through. Lots of villager kills going to be able to come through here, but not all that many units have popped through onto that position just yet. Still no Fortress up for Matrius. He can push in onto this naked town center as well. Easily take that out. He can also get access to his, uh, Her uh, his um, Bellerophon here as well as more villagers getting taken down. Matrius going for... Uh, somewhat of a gold staff here trying to take these villages out the villagers making a retreat over here he's got two gold mines down the bottom that he's currently mining from he's got the medusa out as well do we see that bellerophon coming through just yet no not just yet we don't have the resources for it uh quite just yet as some heavy chari champion chariots excuse me going straight after those villages the hippocon, hippocon are going to come in and try and take those out as best as they can as chemo is trying to regroup trying to rebuild his units trying to stay alive in this game ever so sl slightly ever sl so slowly getting those out as Matthew is going to be retreating away from that position, he sent some villagers forward. He's going to be grabbing this gold mine, searching around the bottom. It looks like Matthew hasn't scouted this, thinks there might be a gold mine over here, but he is incorrect in this game. As the uh, as the Matrius unit's going to be retreating back ever so slightly, we see the uh, the army coming around for Chemo, looking for something to do here. The Medusa getting a couple of kills over here uh, with that special. But it looks like Chemo is slowly creeping up on population. We see Siege Works coming up over here. You've got to be thinking to take out that location, but we still haven't... There's the Fortress. The Fortress coming up over here. He can utilize this forest here to create a quick box and start Petropolis sieging that town center there as he continues to put the pressure onto Chemo's gold mine over here. Not enough units here just yet. We're starting to see some mercenary cavalry coming through here. Though, honestly, Medusa, with that special, so good to be using against those mercenary cavalry. They 120 gold, so insta-killing them is so important. More villagers going down here as Olympic Parentage is also coming out. Do we see that Bellerophon out just yet? Still not getting it out. Do we see a Heliopoli or any Petropolis? Not just yet. The longer this lasts, the closer Chemo is going to be able to get to being able to make an army. Though getting pushed off that gold mine is huge. More units attacking this gold mine over here. We do see some chariot archers going after the villagers of Matrius, though. As Matrius is very, very short on gold. I think maybe if he threw a fortress up on this gold mine to protect himself he might be in a better position here but he's thrown it up over here he's getting himself at heliopolite i'm not sure if that's the best bet right in this position right this moment here as now mattress has fallen down to 109 of 140 population as chemo is barely hanging on in this game, the Pharaoh are going to be getting taken down. The Champion Chariots taking everything out as well. Ch Chariot Archers plus the Spearmen coming in onto this location. There is one Heavy Hippocon here to defend, which is not going to be enough. But one Bellerophon is more than going to be enough to take out all of those Champion Chariots. If you've ever seen it before, Bellerophon is one of the strongest anti-chariot units in the game. And Chemo sees that and he's going to immediately retreat away. 620 HP of pure uh, terrifying nature there on that Bellerophon as the Heliopolis starting to take this town center down. Chemo not paying attention. Lots of damage actually coming through. A second Heliopolis coming in. Still not paying attention on this position as the uh, the raids are coming in fiercely all over the place as the uh, Hippocon coming in to help out. The Bellerophon getting a lot of damage done. Matrius's Bellerophon here just doesn't have the uh, the upgrade or the, the special just available just yet but still does so much damage to those chariot archers. The, the, the Heliopolis have been spotted here. The villagers come through. The Stardust repair this one back up the mercenary have been created as this gold mine is revisited but Kimo is completely smothering this gold mine at this point with all of the villages he possibly has 500 gold in the bank Matrius retreating back here into his base trying to keep his Helio Heliopolis alive he needs to regroup his units get in onto this position and attack it while Kimo's population is low here the longer Kimo holds that town center the stronger he is going to be in this game. You can see even after all the villager kills, he's still sitting at 73, 74 population of villagers here. Uh, and, and while he is spending the, the food here on that and it's really slowing him down, he's slowly but surely getting back into this game uh, economic, from an economic standpoint and from a population standpoint as the Hippocon coming through here. Now the Heliopolite can return to the task at hand, which is taking this location down. We still haven't seen any attempt to switch away from these Heliopolite into Petropolis here. To take this down, which I think is definitely Matrius is going to be shaking his head about that one because the the Petropolis with a wall or two would have been incredibly strong here. Uh, as the mass chariot out, the spearmen unupgraded naked spearmen here are uh, incredibly strong against the uh, against the Heliopoli. You basically need to have. Uh, Hoplites or, or Hypaspis here in combination with the Heliopolite to make this kind of composition work here. 
uh, as the army here retreating back for Mattress. He does still have this Underworld over here, so he can shift the game, uh, the game, the field of the play over here if he so chooses, which it looks like he's going to be coming through onto this position. The village is going to grab this gold mine. Villagers over here still mining on that location. We are still seeing some villagers over here, a fortress attempting to come up over there, but the villagers have been pushed off that location. Idle Hippocon here, uh, uh, really, really hurting uh, Mattress right now. His champion cavalry coming in, but Kemo has hit full population right now he's also getting himself coinage and starting a trade route from his hometown center possibly all the way over onto this location here as that's going to start helping his economy out even more in this game as the units coming through onto this position we see the heliopoli pulling back a fortress trying to come up onto this position to potentially grab that gold mine for himself as the uh, Bellerophon going for some raids here, though, getting low on HP. You don't want to be losing that one. If you're going through uh, Apollo, you have access to this upgrade, which now Matrius is grabbing called Temple of Healing. It's so good to use it just strictly on Bellerophon. You go in, you get some raids down, you pull back, you heal back up. Free 400 gold in the bank, or, or not having to spend that 400 gold on a Bellerophon, and then you just send him back into the battlefield. As now the champion Hippocon going after these champion chariots. That's a beautiful uh, army composition to see from Matrius' side of things as the chariot arch is trying to retreat back. We see another fortress coming up on this gold mine as Matrius realizes how important this one is. This gold mine over here is going to be finishing rel uh, relatively soon as the siege tower is pushing in onto this location over here. You're going to be taking out those spearmen relatively soon here. As we see the uh, the fortress doing everything it possibly can on this position. Fortress just about up there for Matrius here. As the villagers popping out over here, going to do what they can to hold on. But that, that underworld passage going down is going to be very detrimental. But, but if Matrius can push this town center now, he might be able to grab this location back. However, grabbing this is only going to be a, a 1,500 gold mine, if that. As the villagers all pushing in, we see villagers trying to get back onto this position. The chariot arch is making a dart over here. The fortress has been left alone. The underworld passage has been left alone. The, uh, uh, the Heliopolis here is going to be getting picked off as the villagers trying to shank this down as best as he can. Matrius realizes this is his chance to get into this game. If he gets this town center out, picks off the army of Kimo. How are the armory upgrades looking? No armory upgrades for uh, Matrius just yet. We've got ourselves no armory upgrades as well for those champion chariot archers as the villagers getting taken down. Matrius's villager economy is starting to suffer here as he's going forward. He's going to be able to take the town center down here. The Hippocon coming in, trying to take out those chariot archers. Matrius doesn't have the resources in the bank. He doesn't have his uh, his very, very important Bellerophon in this fight to help him, uh, to help him stay alive here. Siege Tower's coming in to take down the fortress. Over here is the Heliopla going to try and finish off this Migdal stronghold, but Matrius is 94 of 140 population remaining. He's finished off on this gold mine. He doesn't have this gold mine over here. No villagers over here grabbing this gold at this point. And while the town center has fallen, Matrius does not have solid access to a gold mine. The chariot arch is sniping down all of the remaining heroes of Zeus in this game. And Kimo looks like he is barely going to be holding on in this game though the Migdol does fall another Migdol over here will be going up there is still a chance for Mattress if he can rebuild his army but just zero villagers on gold at this point well he's got these villagers over here at this point very very low population 75 of 140 Kimo is still sitting at 160 of 160 mass chariot archers here in this game and Mattress just is not able to muster Enough of an army to defend this as the villagers are going to immediately be returning onto this town center to rebuild it back up. As now we see the uh, the desperation Peltast coming out. And, and guess what? Peltast might be a counter chariot archer unit. But uh, as soon as you have a, a ball of chariot archers, you can move in and you can take these out very, very quickly. Trading normally. Uh, with an advantage with those uh, with those chariot archers. The villagers coming back over here. We see heavy spearmen coming in as the chariot archers searching around the map looking for something to take out. Over here as the uh, underworld does go down, the villagers getting taken out on that position as well. Kimo might want to get a catapult or something to finish off that other, uh, that other fortress over there. But the town center is going up very, very fast over here. We also see the leather frame shield for those spearmen to help out as the spearmen are going to be jumping in onto this position to take out those Peltas Matrius Micro to the best of his ability here but as that town center gets closer and closer to completion Matrius realizes not enough gold on this map for him to mine and stay in this one and Kimo barely barely holds on here 
against Matrius. Uh, against Matrius' pressure after grabbing that fourth town center. He barely holds on. Matrius almost made it work. I feel like if Matrius has went for the safer, much more tried and true, Petropolis, Wall, Wall, and then Siege here with the Fortress behind it, he would have been able to take this town center down without that many unit losses and be in a much, much better position. But... He, uh, he does lose that game there. Well played by Kimo. An interesting, uh, interesting game here uh, for sure. Uh, you, you get, a, you get a, a feel here for how much damage that, that shifting sands and taking all of those goats did onto Matrius. And Matrius here is going to be shaking his head because normally the top players, when they play against set, they're going to be putting their goat over here, over here, and just spread them around their base so that shifting sands is not really uh, a problem. But... Kimo makes it work, and this one gets the dub. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next game.